G'day guys, today we'll be going through our Firepex HP Intumescent Sealant. I've got a demo rig set up and I'll show you how to install the sealant around PEX pipes, gas PEX pipes, insulated pair coil for air conditioning penetrations. We'll also look at double layer plasterboard walls and single layer plasterboard applications using our fire sheet system as well. First things first, let's look at the tools we need to install the system. Now step one is we're going to look at the tools of what we need to install. We've got our Firepex HP sealant, we've got our sealant gun and a sealing knife. And if you're installing the fire sheet system, we'll be using a drill and some screws. Now in this example, we're going to be looking at a 20mm PEX pipe and a 20mm gas PEX pipe. Uh, the very first thing we need to do is go to our Firepex HP product manual, which is available online at our websites. Um, and it'll tell us exactly what size hole we need to cut and how much sealant to use. So where you've got a 20mm pipe, we're going to be cutting a 60mm diameter hole, which is what we've got set up here. The next thing that the product manual will tell you is how much sealant you need to apply. So for a 20mm PEX pipe in a two-layer plasterboard wall, which is what we're going to be doing here, we need to apply sealant to the full depth of plaster, both sides of the wall, and finish it flush. So I've got our sealant here, and we're going to get cracking. So you just want to try and layer it in there, build it up on itself, and try and minimise the amount of sealant that falls into the cavity. So now that we've got our sealant filled to the correct depth, I'm just going to tool it off and make it look nice and presentable. Now I'm just going to tool this off with a bit of cardboard to make sure that we're pushing the sealant into the depth of the wall and giving it a nice clean finish. So I'll just take the cardboard and just scrape it around like this. You don't have to use a fillet with our five peck system, it just needs to finish flush with, this, with the wall. And there you go. So that's how we would treat a two hour passerboard wall with two layers of passerboard on both sides. Um, and now I'll show you what to do when you come across a single layer wall, which is common where you have apartments uh, and student accommodation. Now where you've got single layer walls, like you typically do in an apartment building, that's one layer of passerboard on both sides of a stud, there's not enough depth of plaster for the sealant to work effectively. Now what's commonly done on site is they'll put a second layer of plaster around the penetration like we've done here to simulate double layer wall um, and then it's the same process you get your sealant and you're filling it to both layers of the plaster wood. I'll just layer it in here. So you can see as we're tooling it in that it does like to push itself so I find it best to layer them on top of each other and build up a nice bed of material making sure we're filling to the full depth of plaster. Now again, I'm just going to tool this off quickly with a bit of cardboard to make it sit nice and flush with the wall. So now we'll look at the HVAC services, where we've got a set of pair core running through. Now we can run this through with the cables and a drain line as well. Again, the product manual will tell you exactly what you can and can't do with the services you've got. So it's exactly the same as what we do up here. We're going to be filling it in to the full depth of plaster board, both sides of the wall. And it's just a matter of laying it on top of itself like this. So again, you want to fill all the gaps around the outside, around the top and the bottom. Now that that's nice and sealed in there, again, we'll use a bit of cardboard to tool it off and make sure it's pushed back into the wall. There are some instances where you will need a fillet. So again, the Fire, Firepex HP technical manual will tell you exactly what you need to do. Now, for single layer plasterboard walls, it is a pain to have to double layer every penetration you do with a second layer of plasterboard. So what we've done is we've innovated a new fire sheath system, which is this little orange collar here. Now what it is, is an empty metal shell. The beauty of it is you get the correct depth of sealant every time, you don't need to put an extra layer of plaster boards and your certifiers know that you've got the right annular gaps and the right depth every time. So it makes certification much easier and it makes your installation a lot easier as well. The last benefit is because you don't need such a big hole, you're not pumping huge amounts of sealant into the cavity of the wall, so you're saving on your material. Now, I've already installed some here. We install these into your plasterboard walls using 8 gauge by 25mm plasterboard screws. And all we have to do now is just fill in the annular gaps with our Firepex sealant. 
as you can see, much easier to fill up the gaps around here and we're not losing any into the cavity of the wall. Just need to fill it up so it finishes flush with the front of the collar. These sheets do come in two different sizes, one for the 16mm pecs, one for the 20mm pecs. And you can use them for gas pecs as well as the water pecs as well. So again, now that that's in place, you can tool these off to finish nice and flush. As with all installations in plasterboard, you need to replicate it on both sides. Uh, and using the fire pex fire sheet system, you save yourself a lot of time and headaches on site, both in terms of installation and in terms of compliance at the end of the day. Now the very last thing you need to do for a fire sheet install is install a stainless steel cable tie around the outside of the sheet. So that's the end of the installation video. Our Firepex HP sealant product manual is available online and it will tell you how to do all these applications. It's currently approved for a huge range of walls and a big range of services for PEX, gas PEX and insulated pipes. And we're always increasing our testing. We're always doing testing in new wall types and new services. So it always makes sense to check the latest literature on our websites and check our latest installation videos. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time.